and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. Bhumika. Let's look at today's top medical news. Significant drop in online healthcare reviews after COVID study finds. After the COVID-19 pandemic struck, online reviews of healthcare facilities dropped significantly and they have not yet fully recovered. According to a new analysis led by researchers at the Perelman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania, more than half of the reviews on the online platform Yelp now are negative, flipping the pre-COVID picture. The findings are published today in the JAMA Network Open. By analyzing all reviews of healthcare facilities in the United States on the online platform Yelp, dated from 2014 through 2023, researchers saw that the percentage of positive 4 and 5 star reviews dropped from 54.3% before March 2020, which is marked as the beginning of COVID pandemic in the United States, to 47.9% after. Women who suffer severe complications during first pregnancy may have fewer children. Women who suffer severe complications during their first pregnancy or delivery are less inclined to have more babies, a study published in JAMA by researchers at Karolinska Institute reports. In this new population-based study, the researchers have studied the association between severe maternal morbidity in first-time mothers and the likelihood of their having a second baby. The study comprised over a million women in Sweden who had their first baby between 1999 and 2021. We found that the likelihood of having more children was much lower in women who had experienced severe complications during their first pregnancy, delivery or postnatal period, says the study's last author, Neda Razaz, associate professor at the same department. A protein-based gel can be used for higher performance, more sustainable skincare products. NYU Tandon School of Engineering researchers have created a novel protein-based gel as a potential ingredient in sustainable and high-performance personal skincare products. This protein-based material named Q5 could transform the rheological or flow-related properties of personal skincare products, making them more stable under the slightly acidic conditions of human skin. This innovation could also streamline the creation of more eco-friendly skincare products, offering increased efficacy and durability while addressing market demands for ethically sourced ingredients. In a new study published in ACS, Applied Polymer Material from the Lab of Professor of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, Jin Kim Montclair, researchers have created a novel protein-based gel as a potential ingredient in sustainable and high-performance personal skincare products. Current formulations often rely on ingredients such as polysaccharides or synthetic polymers to achieve the desired texture, stability and compatibility with skin's natural pH, which is mildly acidic. Study unveils new way to unlock blood-brain barrier. Researchers at the Ikan School of Medicine at Mount Sinai have developed an innovative approach demonstrated in mouse models and isolated human brain tissue to safely and effectively deliver therapeutics into the brain, providing new possibilities for treating a wide range of neurological and psychiatric diseases. Published in the online issue of Nature Biotechnology, the study introduces a blood-brain barrier crossing conjugate (BCC) system designed to overcome the protection barrier that typically blocks large biomolecules from reaching the central nervous system. The blood-brain barrier crossing conjugate system, designed to overcome the protective barrier that typically blocks large biomolecules, platform takes advantage of a specialized biological process called gamma secretase mediated transcytosis to deliver large therapeutic molecules like oligonucleotides and proteins directly into the brain through a simple intravenous injection. Thank you for watching Medical Dialogues. Stay tuned for more such updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.